everyone, Eidloi here with another update. This week I have been preparing for and presenting at the second unofficial Bevy meetup. If you haven't seen that live, uh, you can check out the recording uh, with the link down below. Afterwards, I moved my code around a little bit to separate it from my internal project and uh, to put it on GitHub. That's right. It's right now uh, open sourced on GitHub. You can get it for yourself and try it uh, if you want to. Do I recommend it? Maybe not. Not yet anyway. Anyway, I'm going to show you how it looks right now. Uh, there is an example uh, in the in the project that I have published that you can start locally as well. And basically, this is uh, almost exactly what I have presented in the in the meetup, except uh, I have um, moved uh, some parts around and externalized the the test that was just you know written into the middle of the test file instead of uh, having separate panels for certain things that you could be reused. For instance, I have made this uh, hierarchy a dev panel, a development panel that has the entity component list embedded inside. So if you ha if you haven't seen the video, so basically I have made a little test uh, editor thing. It it doesn't let you edit uh, and uh, yet, but it uh, shows how uh, you can put together something to at least look at your uh, running application. So here I have a hierarchy which is actually showing the components uh, or the entities and the components of the scene that is running in the middle, but the hierarchy is like one panel so uh, it's a one panel with the component view now uh, in the in the meetup where, where i showed this this was actually a separate panel you can still um, use it separately from the hierarchy but the hierarchy will bring its own um for the scene view i have embedded the the scene view controls that i have made because it makes sense to not you know float around for this specific thing what you can do this is really simple. You can just rotate the camera around the center of the scene, change the rotation speed, and alter the lighting conditions. So I have a natural one, which is like sunlight, a dim one, which is sort of like an overcast scene, and a night scene, which dims the light uh, real down. And this doesn't look much, of course, but it uses all of the components, or well, save for the drop down, all of the components that I have built. And uh, the code to, to make this work isn't really much. It's uh, really 437 lines of code, but uh, most of it is something you wouldn't need to like replicate in your own application because the whole setup and the component setup here is something you would have already. Um, but if you want to try this, you can you can check out the link uh, that I have uh, for the project. You have to clone the repository and place it uh, next to the project that you want to use it in. Um, because accessing the icons, for instance, that are part of the SQL UI asset, this is done via um, an asset source, a custom asset source, which points to um, its own directory, supposing that it's part of a workspace like so. So for instance, I have my uh, editor, the game assets, or where I will put the game assets later on, and this one. So it goes one level up and then back to itself. But that's it basically. It's not entirely ready for consumption yet. As I mentioned in the uh, meetup as well, I have several things that still need to be done before I would consider it, you know, um, something that you can start using. Um, major things that may, they are they are major, but they go on top of the whole library, like the focus management, which is necessary to make sure that it's consistent. Um, I also miss, of course, the text inputs and uh, the theming. So there is a lot of cleanup I still need to do. But again, you can just take it and have a look around and play with it if you want to. It's now open source and uh, have fun with it.
<laughs> anyway, I'm going to continue working on it. And if you if you follow the project, you will see my commits on there uh, as I make them. So for now, that's it. Have fun and talk to you soon. Ciao, ciao.